guest today is Harold Crocker, a longtime Falmouth resident. And we have also with us his friend Butch. How do you do, Butch? Hi, Father. Nice to see you. I'm glad to be on your show. Conversations, huh? Yeah. I got plenty of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's great huh? to have you. Well, it's great, great to, to be here, you. too. And we want to ask Harold a few questions about this wonderful talent called ventriloquism. Ventriloquism is defined as making your voice uh, sound as if it's coming from anyone else but you. He doesn't have yeah. a voice. He doesn't have a voice. This guy don't have a voice. Uh, now look, Butch, be quiet. She's asking me the question. Yes. Well, she's asking you to do it. Yep. Yes, she is. She really is. Yes, she is. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, uh, ventriloquism is uh, getting to project your voice from down here, and it comes up like uh, you'll hear this, like hello, hello, and then it I comes see. out, and then you make it louder, hello, 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 and I see. and it, your lips haven't moved and, at and, all, and your lips don't move. Yeah, well, you train your lips not to move, and uh, you're projecting your voice, like uh, right. uh, an echo, like you hear the echo. Butch, do an echo. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Uh, terrific, and, terrific, and right. The, uh, yeah, the word, words fascinate me, and so I know that the vent part of ventriloquism comes from the Latin, which means throw. Yes. So we've always thought about throwing your voice. your voice. But you uh, said projecting is the same thing. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, we have ventriloquists like Jay Johnson that uh, was on soap, and uh, he talks a lot at these... Uh, theaters that he goes around about uh, ventriloquism, how it started, and, uh, and vocal cords, and, uh. and, and that he has a history on it, a fantastic history. And a lot of these uh, uh, programs, like you can go on YouTube and look up under ventriloquism. Oh, I'll and, do that. And you can see a ventriloquist from all over the world that, that are on there. You can just punch into like Paul Winchell, Jay Johnson, Terry Fader. Oh or uh, Jeff Dunnan, and uh, anybody out there can have the opportunity today to uh, be involved in ventriloquism, learn ventriloquism. Mm -hmm. They have places where you can uh, buy, you know, the uh, figures like I have. They have uh, all kinds of material they can pick up. You know, and I, I was uh, mistaken. I thought that it was a lost art. No, it isn't. I don't no, I'm it. not lost, am I? No, am no, I lost? no. Yeah. No, be quiet. No, of course not. I'm not lost, Father. No. No, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. Never I did no. not mean to imply oh, okay. that I, you were lost. I just don't want to be called a dummy. <laughs> oh, be quiet. No. So. Uh, I, uh, thank you for telling me about that. I'll be sure to get on YouTube and right. watch some of it. And look but, under Ventriloquist. Right, and yes. I'm also on there, too. Yeah, you, you can are look up uh, terrific. Uh, my videos on there that I Good. have. Mm -hmm. Now, when did you get started? Uh, I started uh, when I was 14 years old. 14. I went to the uh, Falmouth High School. And, uh, of course, I'm a native of Falmouth, uh, uh, five generations. And I, was, uh, I lived in Woods Hole. And I lived in uh, Leslie Street, Woods Hole, and I also went to the Falm uh, excuse me, the Woods Hole School, and uh, I, of course, entertained at the rec halls and different one uh, places. But uh, but at fourteen, how did you learn? Uh, back then, uh, we didn't have television, uh -huh. and uh, I was very fortunate to uh, have a neighbor that had a television, so I would go over and watch Paul Winchell with Jerry Mahoney, uh -huh. and. Uh, at that time, of course, Edgar Bergen with Charlie McCarthy was on. Yeah. And I kept watching uh, uh, every Sunday night when, uh, like, Paul Winchell would be on and uh, watching him. Uh, and I just kept practicing in front of a mirror and started out doing shows. So, in fact, you're self-taught. Yes. That's self -taught. marvelous. That's right. Yeah. You're self-taught. Yeah. Yes. Uh, really. Yeah, it really yeah. was. I'll be mm -hmm. quiet here. Very good. Very good. And then and I want to... Uh, as far as Woods Hole is concerned, uh, I, of course, I went to school at the Woods Hole School, which brought a lot of memories to me. And I can remember when I was a kid down there, uh, uh, of course, I wasn't a bright student. I had a bad report card. So I went to um, uh, Mrs. Ryder lives on the corner of uh, School Street in Woods Hole, and there was a hole in the tree, and I put my report card in there, and I didn't want to take it home and show my father. And a few years later, I entertained at the library in Woods Hole, and there was a lady called Mrs. Ryder there. This is uh, uh, a few years later, and uh, I told her about the uh, report card, and she really 
right. uh, yeah. she really did. Yeah. Yeah, did anybody? I wonder if anybody found it. I don't know, but write. I know my father told me. Right. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. uh, my uh, my father worked for San Cajon's Fish Market in Woods Hole. Oh gosh, uh, yes. Uh, my memories of Woods Hole is that uh, uh, my father was working at San Cajon's Fish Market and. Uh, they used to have uh, lobsters. They had like a big uh, slab of, uh, and they had the uh, the water going, you know, to flush out the lobsters. And, that. and I was a kid. I put my finger in, you know, my hand in there, and I was going up the street crying by the, uh -huh. you know, by Jim Lloyd's package right. store and that, right. and crying. And uh, people were, you know, my father had to come get the lobster. That was before they had the, the pegs and the lobsters. Yeah, yeah. And, but memories uh, down yeah. there. Uh -huh. You were a curious boy, and you paid the yeah. price. I paid the price. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, now I'm beginning to understand from all that you've told me that ven ventriloquism is uh, alive and well in the country. Yes. And uh, but but there hasn't uh, there has been a period where it kind of uh, faded a it's bit. Slowed and down. It, and yes. it's coming uh -huh. back. Yes. Uh, in this modern age, of course, everybody's into, there's so many things going on and uh, with electronics and uh, making right, things that, right. you know, they can talk and that. That's exactly but being right. a ventriloquist, we as ventriloquists are making our figures talk. And there's uh, a lot, uh, like Jeff Dunn and Terry Fader, and they, they use in their own voices. They're uh, right, using their right. own techniques. I and wonder if we can review some of the, uh, on the screen, some of the, uh, people that um, our viewers that may I, not be familiar okay. with that are doing uh, lots of ventriloquism. Uh, okay, yes, here we my, go. On my uh, left right. here is uh, John Ritter and uh, my friend Butch and myself. And then in the center is Jeff Dunnan with his friend Peanuts. Now, Jeff is a ventriloquist that's uh, well known to everybody. He's on Comedy Central. He's made uh, a lot of appearances. And uh, he's terrific. And then uh, the other picture next to him is uh, Jeff Wood Ackman. And uh, that started out as a skeleton. And of course, he's been all over the world with Ackman. And then down the lower part of the, uh, of the pictures is Paul Winchell with uh, myself and Butch. And Paul Winchell was a top ventriloquist in the 50s and 60s. And on the bottom, he sees him signing Butch. And in the center is a great friend of mine. He's still living today, and uh, he has a building down in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, named after him. It's Jimmy Nelson with Danny O'Day and Fafel. And Do you Jim, know, excuse me, yes. his model almost looks like Charlie McCarthy. Yes, uh, similar. similar. Yeah. And uh, Jimmy Nelson uh, was with Milton Berle years ago and on Texaco Star Theater. And, of course, one of his uh, commercials that made him uh, famous was Nestle's Chocolate, and he has his dog, Fafel. He'll sing, and he is still he is. Nestle's makes the very best <laughs> chocolate. And that's Jimmy Nelson. Right, yeah. his trademark. He, he's one of my great uh, inspirers. He's, uh, between Paul Winchell and Jimmy Nelson, they're the ones that started me to go ahead in uh, the entertainment field. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you had said, I that there is a ventriloquism museum in the country. Yes, there is. There's a ventriloquist museum down in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, and uh, we go there every year. I go to the ventriloquist convention uh, in July, and I've been going for 38 years to mm -hmm. the convention, uh, and we have a museum with all the figures in there from like Edgar Bergen's Charlie McCarthy mm -hmm. and Mortimer Snurd, uh, also figures of... Uh, Jeff Dunnan, so when he first started out, uh, Jimmy Nelson's figures are in there. Uh, people from way back in the 1800s, like really? the great Lester, uh, and uh, there's so many uh, that are involved in there. Hmm? You know, it occurred <clears throat> to me that something as, uh, as important as this, as this human um, stagecraft, there must be books written about ventriloquism and its history. I didn't realize it went back yeah. that far. Yes, there is. And uh, like I mentioned before, you can go on YouTube and you can look up like Ben Haven Museum. It tells you when it's open in the, uh, the course of the year. And uh, the Ventriloquist Convention, uh, it's on there. If somebody wants to go to the Ventriloquist Convention and learn about ventriloquism, uh, we have it in July and it's posted the dates. Very good, mm -hmm. very good. 
Do you do, um, do, you do some local um, um, jig gigs here? Yes, I do. I, uh, I of course, for the Falmer Fire Department, for the uh -huh. uh, uh, fire prevention, I do uh, all our granges, oh. rotary clubs, corners. Uh, so the fire prevention mm -hmm. must be then educational. You don't just yes. do comedy. No, I uh, have a, a fireman called Zeke. And he goes around. He greets the uh, the oh. children, and uh, we say about uh, nine one one and yeah, uh, greet him. He's like a greeter. Yeah, Very that's nice. right. There, Zeke. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's quite a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little competition. Yeah, a little for competition for me. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's right. Right. Do you ever bring Butch along on any um, educational missions? Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And of course, we do a lot of senior pro uh, programs ah. too. Yeah, and we travel. I'd, I've traveled from, I've been in Boise, Idaho. I've been in, uh, uh, of course, Kentucky, entertaining. I've been with the, um, uh, doing shows that uh, we were down in Nashville, Tennessee, oh. and uh, uh, Oregon. I've been out in Oregon and done some shows. Gosh, so. so this hobby of yours, actually, it's a profession, has allowed you to travel all over the country. Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. So wasn't that yeah. wonderful yeah. that you had this idea yeah. at 14? And it's uh, been with you yeah. all these years. Well, uh, one of, the, of course, I've had a lot of great things happen to me. Uh, first of all, when I uh, we're going to be seeing a, a, a clip of myself on the Ted Mack original Amateur Hour in a, in a few oh, minutes. Oh, right. And Ted Mack Amateur Hour was like, as like uh, today, you uh, the you know talent That's show. That's right. You these, got talent. Um, mm -hmm. These. Um, um, yeah. um, the greatest talent. Yeah. All these things are simply versions of the old Ted Mack amateur right. hour. Let's and, have a look. And at I would like to, before we go to that, uh, to mention that uh, after this show aired, uh, a few months later, I performed for President Kennedy at Hyannisport, uh, Hyannisport for Caroline's birthday party when she was 10 years old. Really? Yes. So that that amateur show kind of launched you as a professional. Yes, move me along. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. I wonder if we can see the uh, that. Ted Let's Mack. take a look at that, Tony. Take it away. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, Ted Mac, the Ted Mac, and the original amateur. Oh, viewers will 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 uh, yeah, he's on enjoy the some uh, nostalgia here. You can't hear that, can you? We have a ventriloquist from Falmouth, yes, Massachusetts. Yes, Works as a custodian for the Falmouth so School yeah. Department. Also a special police officer. Calls his two friends Butch and Eddie, and they call him Harold Crocker. Falmouth is, is out on Cape Cod, isn't it? Yes, Mr. Mack. It's 10 miles from Hyannis Port, Massachusetts, where the President-elect Kennedy lives. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, maybe your uh, neighbor will vote for you. I hope so, Mr. Mack, because I voted for him. Okay, let's see you and Butch and Eddie do your stuff. Okay, fellas, what's this argument all about? Now come on and kiss and make up. I ain't gonna do it. Why not? Because I don't like Eddie anymore. What's this all about anyway? And he says he can sing then and I can. I can too. You cannot. I can too. Okay, fellas, I'll settle this. Why don't the both of you sing together and we'll find out. Okay with me. Me too. Music, my soul. I'm looking over a police wall that then I overlook before. Oh, Clint is the sunshine protected in the rain. But then I'll be further that they send a lane. Oh, there's no meeting finding. The one just remaining. The one that I... Actually, 
how, how um, thrilling it is. You've had a wonderful career. You've got to meet some in interesting people, travel, mm -hmm. and all of that coming from something that you taught yourself to do. Yes, and uh, I'd like to mention, too, that uh, a couple of years ago, I was at the ventriloquist convention, and uh, they gave me the Distinguished the Award and the Outstanding Art of Ventriloquism, and everybody stood up at a standing ovation, and I received the uh, plaque for, uh, from all my peers from all over the yeah. world, ventriloquists from all over the world. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And that was a great honor. And also, my, my friend Jimmy Nelson was there, and he says, he says he was so happy that I received it. That made right. me really feel great. You know? Right. Yeah. And any, any of your performances get sent to that museum? Yes, I have uh, videos that are down there at the museum, and uh, they're keeping a, a real log of me down I there. See. They're very that's, nice that's, people that's down great. there. That's mm -hmm. great. I know that you have been, um, well, spent all your life here. You're a good citizen. You're a town meeting member. How many years? I've been 53 uh, years now 53 as a town years. meeting rep. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good for, for you. Precinct three, yeah. Good to you. Mm. And so that's right. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Falmouth, of course, we, uh, my hometown, and uh, I, I have a lot of memories of uh, when I was growing up uh, on Main Street, the Falmouth Town Hall, uh, mm. the old town hall, and the old police station. Well, upstairs in the old town hall, right on Newland Park was the, uh, the National Guard used to train up there, and of course I was in the National Guard. But after they left there, I started a talent unit show of uh, oh. young kids from all over Cape Cod. And uh, the selectmen gave me the opportunity to go up there and uh, have the kids uh, on like a Monday or Tuesday evening go up there and practice and do uh, for, the, for the show. And we used to have a traveling unit to go around different towns for the uh, cerebral palsy and the retarded children. Very nice, mm -hmm. very nice. So you uh, you encouraged some uh, young talent. Uh, yes, on those, uh, yes, and the same what I had the Harold Crocker Variety right. Show here on Channel 13. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I brought people in from all over to uh, come down here and entertain. Yeah. And that's what we need today, Barbara. We, yes, we do. We need a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, we need to, uh, I see that uh, in Falmouth here, Coffee of Sessions uh, has a talent night, and a couple other places have a talent night. People have talent in the town here. There's a lot of good talent, but they haven't the chance to display their talent. I know, that's true. I agree with you, and this uh, opportunities for live entertainment are so minimal because we have all, we have electronic entertainment. People right. would prefer watching they did, watching television and in fact this live entertainment is so important because it's person to person you get to interact not right. with uh, not with videos but with uh, live with human beings well that's why i feel about ventriloquism right. uh, i have an alter eagle here i've been working with him for over 60 years and we have uh, have a lot of fun there's memories that i can can't tell you, so many memories that I've gone through uh, being a ventriloquist, and it's really enjoyable, and it's enjoyable coming on your show to, sure. uh, today to show the people in Falmouth, uh, and if they are interested, if there's any young people out there that are interested in being a ventriloquist, if they, we can touch me, or they can go right on YouTube and look up on ventriloquism and get all the information. We're so yeah. fortunate today yes, to be able are. to get. Th It'd be a wonderful hobby for some for some young person. By the way, do you write material? I usually do a lot of ad living. I see. Uh, I good. find that uh, if you stay to script material, it can be boring. You have to have. Right. You have to be like this. See, I tell you, like that. Yeah. You got to <laughs> respond to the moment. Yeah. Right. But we uh, are fortunate. We have, uh, like I mentioned, uh, I, I do whistling, and I'm the only ventriloquist that makes my figures whistle. Oh. Uh, all the, of course, everybody has a technique, different techniques, but Butch is the one that, and oh, he was on Ted Mack doing the whistling. I that's see, right. so that's been your style. That's right. Do I dare ask you to try to whistle? Whistle? <laughs> Very Still good. Got thank you, thank you, I, thank you. I was going to say that uh, one of the nice things about the kind of the stagecraft that you're in is that it brings comedy to people and how important it is to laugh. Well, it is, and uh, when I was down in uh, Kentucky, I went to the Shriners Hospital and entertained for the Shriners. 
And I can remember going into the room, and there was a boy in one of those tubes at the you know, burn center. And uh, the nurse said to me, she says, he has never smiled. And I walked up with Butch very, clo very slowly and gently, and he smiled. And uh, the nurse told me that. She, she just smiled. And when I went out, it took a lot out of me. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, yeah, knowing true. that at least I made that kid right. smile. Yeah, exactly. I did. Well, I did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Butch has a face that makes you want to smile. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I sure do. Yeah. Yeah. There's no question about Father, that. This is quite a right. show you got here right. tonight. Well, I want to thank you very much for being with us and telling us about what is obviously not a lost art. There's still plenty of uh, ventriloquism going on. Yes, there is. And, and uh, of course, Jeff Dunnan, uh, one of the top ventriloquists today, uh, and of course, uh, and uh, Terry Fader have brought it out. Like Terry Fader's in Vegas, and of course, Jeff has been in Vegas and traveling all over. And uh, I'd like to mention, this year will be our 40th anniversary at the Ventriloquist Convention, and they're going to have... Uh, all the top ventriloquists there. Jeff Dunn will be there. Terry Fader will be there. All the ventriloquists from the past that are still available to come. Yeah, I'll bet that they will put that on YouTube. So oh, we'll I believe that. they yeah. will. And uh, well, I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, this is going to be yeah, a great one, yeah. 40 years. And, and when is it going to be? In July. In next July. Yeah, this July, next July. Excuse yeah. me, yes. Well, good, good. Uh, yeah, still, still, yeah. This still, 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 you know, this and that you. Right. <laughs> Thank you again very much, and to viewers, thank you again for joining us, and we look forward to having you tune in next time on Conversations. Thank you thank for you. having us here. Thank you. Nice to see you, Dr. <laughs> that was a lot of fun.